his life and baseball career cut tragically short this morning. We remember Thurman Munson on the 30th anniversary of his death. And the Mets years ago today, the New York sports world was stunned to hear that Yankees catcher and captain Thurman Munson had died in a plane crash in Ohio. On his way to a Hall of Fame career, Munson was a beloved member of the 77 and 78 Yankees that won two straight World Series titles. Still three decades later, many fans still wear his number 15 and remember what he meant to the team and the city he played for. Joining us this morning is Marty Appel, baseball historian, the author of Munson, The Life and Death of a Yankee Captain. Good to see you this morning. Thank you so much. Thanks, Barry. And I see that number 15 that you're wearing and many fans are still wearing it. Yeah, uh, you go to a Yankee game today and you'll find 20, 30, 40 people wearing Munson t-shirts, usually kind of middle-aged and maybe a little overweight. <laughs> what did he mean to the team and baseball itself? He was the heart and soul of those great Yankee teams teams of the 70s that came to be known as kind of the Bronx Zoo years and although he had a contentious relationship with the media the fans saw around that they loved the way the guy played the game he was their captain as well as the official Yankee captain you worked with him on his autobiography and you were the publicity director in the 70s for the Yankees so you knew him very very well what was he like off the field well, he was a player's player. I mean, he got along well with his peers, and uh, the fact that he had troubled relationships with the media, the fans weren't really affected by it. He might not have gotten great press, but they loved the way he played the game, and they cheered their hearts out for the yeah, guy. Yeah, very much a part of the city. But he never really thought of himself as a New Yorker, I understand. He used to fly home after the games for quite a number of years. The fans didn't realize that, but as the players would leave a night game and drive home to Bergen County or Westchester County, Thurman would go to Teterboro Airport and fly home to Canton so he could spend the morning with his children. He'd had a very troubled childhood himself and he was determined that his kids wouldn't have that. I'm wondering how you found out about the crash that day. Well, I was uh, working at MLB at the time, Major League Baseball. Uh, I had moved on from the Yankees and like most people in the city, the word spread slowly. This was before the age of cable and internet and, and everything like that and sports talk radio. So it was about two hours later that we got phone calls and word started to spread. And there's really an interesting section in the book about how the New York media station by station reacted to it and covered it. How did you react to it? with grief and sadness and it was so far down the list for me that oh my I did his autobiography with him I'm even surprised looking back now that that didn't even occur to me very quickly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. such a tragedy yeah, last year we had a chance to speak with his wife Diana who's very still very much oh, a part of the Yankee lady. family she said she's still so surprised to see so many uh, of the Munson jerseys still in the crowd yeah. there's still so many fans here um, the fans love her. She was at Old Timers Day a couple of weeks ago and they were able to express their love for Thurman through her. She's just uh, kept the name alive and uh, every time the fans have a chance to interact with her, it's Thurman's back. You know, it's yeah. a great feeling. Why do you think his legacy is still so strong even today? He was the first captain of the Yankees since Lou Gehrig and everybody kind of knows the legend of Lou Gehrig. And uh, he took the team to greater heights. He was named the captain and he immediately won an MVP award and took the Yankees to their first World Series in 12 years. And he just played the game the way New York fans like to see it played, hard and fast and true with the dirtiest uniform on the field. Mm -hmm. Marty Paul, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Mary. The book is called Munson, The Life and Death of a Yankee Captain. Marty will hold a special talk about the legacy of Thurman Munson at the Yogi Berra Museum at Montclair State University today at the for more information, you can head over to our website, wcbstv.com.